welcome back or welcome if you're here for the first time to my little film and TV channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Great to have you on board if you are new. We've got a movie to have a look at today. Yes, we've had we had um, Florian Zeller gave us the father. Uh, was it last year? The year before? Excellent, excellent film. Anthony Hopkins, and we've now got the son by the same gentleman so we're gonna have a look at that today please if you are new to the channel push that subscribe button push the bell notifications it'd be great to have you on board and do movie reviews like this information vlogs tv drama reviews information on streaming films at the cinema and the odd quiz thrown in as well at uh, special occasions usually like the last one we did was between christmas and new year so seek that out there's a few other quiz quizzes knocking around as well so please if you are if you are new if you push that button push that other little button as well i'm trying to get between 10 and 15 likes if i can for these vlogs these thought that someone getting thumbs up so if you can get me to that target it'd be very much appreciated right no further ado let's talk about the film the sun is a drama directed as we said by florian zeller from a screenplay by Zella and Christopher Hampton. And it's based on Zella. Zella's involved a lot in this. I think he made the coffee for everyone as well. Uh, based on Zella's 2018 stage play of the same name. All the comments I'm going to give you now, all the scores, etc. That's at the 8th of February. 2023. Rotten Tomatoes audience, uh, yes, only 3.7 out of 5. But, but it is getting, sorry, only 3.7 out of 5. That's very good, isn't it? I was thinking of 3.7 out of 10 then. 3. Yeah, 7.4 out of 10 that equates to a 68% positivity. Uh, quite high. Internet movie database, Joe Public, 6.1 out of 10. So a little bit lower, but that's based on 68% positivity as well. So just more of the same. And this is about Peter. This is the son is about Peter, who has he's, he's the dad, has his busy life with new partner Beth and their baby thrown into disarray when his ex wife Kate turns up with their teenage son Nicholas. So, well, yeah, I mean, he sort of rings up and asks him if he's take, if he's taking this Nicholas off, off her hands because he's causing a few problems. Well, is, is at that age, seemingly, but obviously, as the film progresses, we, we find out a lot more. The film stars Hugh Jackman, Laura Dern, Vanessa Kirby, Zem McGrath, Hugh Quashie and Anthony Hopkins. Yes, he was not in the same role, but obviously he stars in this. And this was released widely in the United States on January the 20th and will be more or less worldwide by about 17th of February. So please check your territories wherever you are. If you fancy watching this, and quite a few people are liking it, so why not? Rotten Tomatoes Critics... Pfft, way down way down on the on the actual audience 27 percent positivity based on 136 critics that's 37 fresh and 99 rotten so not great not great at all averaging 4.8 out of 10 and despite reliably solid work from laura dern and hugh jackman they say in their consensus the sun remains mired in off-puttingly aggressive melodrama hmm, yeah okay Rex Reed from The Observer said, A Sud is a bold, harrowing and unflinchingly sobering film that is admittedly not for every taste, but an unavoidably intelligent piece of filmmaking for mature viewers that I highly recommend. Well, I'm a mature viewer. Yeah, perhaps I'm not as mature as I think. K. Austin Collins from The Rolling Stone said, There's no doubt that Zeller takes his subject seriously, but his conceptual skill isn't matched by his writing of scenes. And the writing for Nicholas is particularly underwhelming. Yes, I'd have to agree with uh, Mr. Collins there. Um, yeah, well, I'm sure it's a Mr. K. Austin Collins, possibly. And Hornaday for the Washington Post said, quite simply, a disappointment. From its pat set up to its equally false and quite frankly cruel resolution. Well, I agree with that as well. A bit more on that in my little summing up. Metascore, the other critics site we look at, 46% positivity based on 40 reviews. And it's more or less split down the middle. We've got 13 positives, 14 mixed and 13 negatives. And it scored anywhere between 0, a bit harsh, and 88 out of 100. 
Chicago sometimes is Richard Ruper, who we talk we talk about so we quote sometimes. He gave it thirty eight out of hundred. He said, given that director and co writer Florence Zellers, the father, was a powerful and nuanced and creatively present presented original work with Anthony Hopkins winning an Oscar for his portrayal of a man with advancing dementia, it's truly shocking how Zellers the son is such a tone deaf, emotionally manipulative, leaden stumble into the abyss. Yeah, he didn't like it, I don't think. Wendy Hyde, though, she liked it a little bit more. She's here in the UK. 70 out of 100, she give it. It's undeniably powerful stuff, she said, but a more straightforward piece of storytelling lacking the slippery, shape-shifting quality of his debut. So, still give it 70, so she still had a good score, considering it wasn't the greatest review. Right, my thoughts, guys. I will tell you my score. I am going to give this a little bit disappointing. I'm only going to give this a 5 out of 10. And mainly, it might have pushed to 5.5 or 6. I think mainly the last two or three scenes. Uh, I didn't like the ending scene. Uh, though upsetting in itself as part of the story, it wasn't really well constructed into the overall film for me. And the fact that the scene previous to this had sort of been... <sighs> telegraphed a mile away I, I saw it I saw it coming what was happening uh, possibly caused this little twist at the end to try and uh, make the little thing better because I, I must admit I thought all oh, right okay but uh, of course this this ending to the film sort of um, sort of try to try to sort of uh, uh, sort of uh, change it if you not change it but make make you feel a little bit differently uh, to, to what you had been telegraphed as I said in the scene before so it's not really an excuse it's just for me it's a bit lazy lazy writing you know perhaps it could have been done another way but uh, it just annoyed me rather rather than interested interested me and please don't watch for Anthony Hopkins because he's only on screen for about two minutes if, if that is he's, he, he has a funny line, makes you laugh, and that's it. It's, that's the end of his part in it. Apart from the ending scenes, which I've talked about, uh, some of it was okay. Uh, Jackman and Dern are certainly watchable enough. Uh, but, yeah, this all revolves around the son, of course. That's the name of the film. He's the key character. And the part was played by Zen McGrath, and I found him very unconvincing. I don't think he had great, great stuff, you know, in, in his defence. I don't think he had some great lines to deliver, but I just found it all delivered very unconvincingly. I, I wasn't impressed at all. And that the whole crux of the film was um, actually getting to know this lad and, and knowing his problems, etc., etc. So I think that sort of ruined it a little bit for me as well. And the storytelling, I think the critics said there, it's little lacks a little depth in storytelling. If this had been the stage show, I mean, this is true to the stage, so I'd, I would have struggled to stay awake, in fairness, or, or be that interested in what was going to happen. Yeah, I have to. I think you have to compare it to Zella's previous, The Father, uh, with Anthony Hopkins. And sadly, sadly, this falls well, well behind that standard. And based on that is a little disappointing standalone as i said not great but when you compare it to that that debut one with the father uh, very disappointing indeed i was really looking forward to this hoping it'd be of, of an equal standard or all right don't mind a little bit of a drop off but this sort of uh, didn't fall off a cliff but it was certainly not up to the standard of the father that's for sure let me know when you get to watch this guys anyway let me know let me know what you think it'd be great to hear from you i would particularly say if you're going to go to the pictures for it you might be disappointed if you wait to get it on streaming or at home on you know one of the streaming channels whichever you use it's probably probably a best best to do that i wouldn't i wouldn't uh, I wouldn't want me going to the big screen cinema to watch this. I would have been, a little, as as in the stage show, I would have been a little bit disappointed you watching it on a big screen as well. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. It'd be great to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, last one thing, don't worry, please. Stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.